Yo, my people, what's good? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Patala FC. We are within a lot of updates. I don't even know where to start. Chelsea said, boom, another signing. Liverpool might sign Zubi Mendy. Manchester Derby Day. Uh, good luck. Uh, may the best side win. You know, Manchester United showed us they can beat City. So may the best side truly win there. But as you can see, Chelsea fan who's happy. Finally happy. Not concerned. Not worried. I think this is Todd Bowley's way of apologizing, guys. We were thinking about Gallagher and saddened by how we were still thinking about Chaloba and how he's being phased out. Uh, like in the in the wrong way right but signing a player that is 24 years old a portuguese forward such as pedro neto mm. i like it i like it very direct forward good in terms of dribbling never looks back wants to score goals and people are saying that in terms of the wing positions sterling and modric are being phased out or are the less preferred players Pedro Neto prefers to be a right wing, guys. So I think Noni Madweki needs to think about his position. And in preseason, as much as Noni showed glimpses of, of good play, let's be honest, he was not convincing enough if Mareska feels he's trying to make it back into the top six, which Poch for, like, somehow managed to achieve last season. So can Mareska do it? He needs a certain stature of player. Premier League proven young player young enough he only turned 24 this year um pedro neto one concern injury record guys uh yeah the injury record is not that good he's had an injury almost every season uh basically every season except the 21 22 season so just a slight concern so i would say instead of doing medicals ship that boy straight to spain or dubai let them do the medicals before the injuries because we need cole palmer and Neto, Caicedo, Samuel Morodion. <laughs> we need these players to play 30 plus games together. Oh, Christopher Nkunku. Oh, oh, how dare me. You need a queen. We need all those players for at least 30 plus games next season. Uh, there's a lot more. I'm missing the, 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 the Romeo Lavias of this world. Romeo Lavia. Hey man, that man cooked. But yeah, I've got a segment for y'all today. Uh, I was going to touch more on Pedro Neto and what he could bring into the team and the potential lineups, what it does to Madweki. But what we've been trolled about is the locker room. The locker room is huge, guys. It, it, it's undeniable. There are a lot of players. So not everyone is part of the main 25-man squad that most teams rotate across a season. So we're going to have to look at our squad and tear everybody. That's the right thing to do, right? So we're on the Chepsi... What? <laughs> We're on the Chelsea website. Out of all words to mistake. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the Chelsea website and we're going to go from goalkeepers all the way down. This going to be a segment. Interesting segment. Uh, subscribe, guys. It's going to be hectic to edit. But yeah, <laughs> let's get into it. We have Robert Sanchez. I would say rotation player, guys. As much as Sanchez is probably the most proven goalkeeper in the Premier League, he couldn't make it into Brighton's 11. He was not good enough to be Brighton's first. But for Bruchen, was played under De Zerbi instead of De Zerbi keeping this goalkeeper. Uh, we signed him for about 30 million. And I think he's not good enough. I, I just think he's not good enough. He's not composed enough on the boards. And that should be his strength. You know, he makes very silly passes, to be honest, for lack of better words. So for me, this man, rotation player, Philip Hodginson, definitely a first team player, new signing. Um, we haven't seen much of him, but he definitely signed for Chelsea to be in the first team bracket. And he's not going to go on loan. He's a brand new signing, so he is within. Marcus Bettinelli. Guys, Bettinelli has played one game. I've seen him play one game against some, some team in the FA Cup or Carabao Cup, a, a, a League One side. Was it? It starts with a C. Yeah, no, I, I can't even remember the team. But Tinelli is there for vibes. He's like Scott Carson for Man City. Uh, I think um, we can sell him. Let him push P. Let him push his career further. You get me? Like, no, we don't, we don't need that. Dode Petrovic. I would have loved to be here saying that Petrovic is our first choice, guys. Like, I really enjoyed 
the reputation that he built for himself last season, the saves that were crucial that he made showed his potential. I think he just turned 25, but it looks like he's going on loan. That wasn't decided by us. It was decided by other t- um, by other entities or maybe Mareska himself. Who knows? But yeah, Lucas Bergstrom. How is Lucas Bergstrom still a Chelsea player? Yo, sell this guy, guys. You let him push his career. Kepa, sell. Sell. Kepa is a shout for me for the worst signing in our history. He, he genuinely could be. Maybe alongside the likes of um, Sebastian Veron. You know, like, you just, you pulled up and did nothing. Nedved. Phew. <laughs> Let's not do that. But yeah, Axel de Sassi didn't play in preseason. Um, he wasn't fully fit. He was working on that. I feel like he's definitely in the first team setup. Back three, you can use it to sass. He's got the pace as much as the size on him, physicality. Or back or, or back four. You know, he can be alongside Tosin, alongside Levi Kowal. He's good enough. And I think he showed us the most last season out of all our defenders. So, and hey, let's not forget the second match against Man City in the league. Man pocketed what most call the best striker in the world. So, Desassi is that guy. Mark Kukurela, definitely first team player. Now, when Kukurela arrives, I believe he becomes the inverted fullback, which means I think we take Gusto back to right back. What happens to Reese? Because Reese is not an out and out midfielder. So, is that going to limit Reese's minutes? That's our captain. So, is Reese going to become the right back? What's going to happen to Gusto? There's, there's going to be some, what do they call it? The, the domino effect due to Kukurela's arrival. And he's back at Cobham. <laughs> we cook. Inter's going to be a big game. And we'll, towards the end of the video, we'll talk a bit about our game against Inter. Try to break it down, you know. Tosin, new signing. Definitely first team. Hope he's good enough. I hope he gets better as the season progresses. You know, a lot of demands at Chelsea. As much as he was brilliant for Fulham. Uh, a lot of demands on him. And I think he needs to stamp himself. 26 years old. Benoit Badiashu. <laughs> go, go to any Chelsea post and look at the comments and just see how many people just want us to sell this guy <sighs> but i think he's a rotation player guys he's not a first team player for us but i think he's a rotation player he's not going on loan he's not going to get sold not now we've put another man on the books we're going to get to him just now then what about issue rotation Cowell, first team cobham boy nothing else to be said can even play left back in certain situations i don't like him at left back but he can play left back and he doesn't mind playing anywhere for the team. You know, that team spirit. Trevor Chaloba. Uh, let's not shed tears, guys. Ben Chilwell is a very interesting one. Because Ben Chilwell, Mareska literally said he does not know how best to utilize Chilwell in the system. And Chilwell's been coming on playing in a, uh, during preseason. Chilwell would come on into a back three on the left side. It's not what he's good at. He's more of a fullback. And he's not trusted to be the inverted fullback off the left. They'd rather play Gusto on the left than play Chua. Which is interesting. I I would say on face value, and what I've seen from Chua, I would assume that he's able to invert and play in midfield. But it seems he can't. And well, according to Mareska, he can't. So maybe we trust the process and see what happens. So Chua, I think unfortunately becomes a rotation player. And he's one of our senior men, so it's very strange. Capitan Reese, definitely first team. Gusto, first team. Our inverted fullback for now. Still very young. I think Gusto is just 21 now. So, yeah. Wesley Fofana. Yo, this guy. Fofana is likely to be a first team player. But I'm going to put him under rotation. Because they don't need him in the first team to win games. And until he shows his best, well, there is a better Fofana than the preseason Fofana. Until his match fitness is up to speed. Uh, for now, let, let him be a rotation player. Achimpong. Achimpong seems to have impressed Mareska a lot. You know, he was taken to uh, to America for the US tour above um, players like Gilchrist, right? Which is like, whoa, wow. But um, he doesn't have that physicality for the league. I think one more loan could be fine just, just, to, just to improve him a bit more. I think Achimpong is a good player, though. Bashir Humphreys wasn't even there for the preseason tour. I don't know if he was injured or what. I think it's time to sell Humphreys, um, give him a chance in the championship or outside of the league somewhere. I feel we could get good value for him. New signing. 
but already confirmed to be going on loan Caleb Wiley from Atlanta United uh, left back left wing back yeah one of the crazy 12 signings of this window mm. but yeah uh, <laughs> Caleb Wiley going to Strasbourg on loan uh, we'll see if he makes him to Chelsea one day we'll see if he's just profit uh, most likely to be the latter and chofunetli <laughs> yeah so um, we get going to the midfield now I believe Enzo Fernandez, uh, money spent, right? We'd rather sell Gallagher uh, for pure profit than sell a player that we've spent almost uh, just above or below 100 million for. Enzo Fernandez, first team player. Uwachuku, first team player. I won't even say rotation. If, and I'm not trying to be pessimistic, should injuries strike, I don't think we lack in midfield because Uwachuku's got that versatility. He showed in preseason he can be in the, in the forward line. He can be in the defensive third. So Ugochuku might be crucial for next season. First team for me. Connie Chukwemeka. Hey, Chooks. <laughs> he played the first two Premier League uh preseason or Premier League. First two preseason games. He played the first game and he was the only man that played 90 minutes. Started the second game. And then from there, Mareska said, I think I'ma forget about you. Literally. And we played five games. So the last three, Chukwemeka was almost just and a surplus player which is concerning for him and i think he might go on loan there's a possibility of a loan so i'm not going to put him in the first team i think no not loan either maybe rotation let's put him as a rotation player because i think uh he is a cam he's good at being a cam and he's got the pace to get beyond and be in the forward line almost like a false nine in mariska system so yeah i think rotation works Kenan Dewsbury Hall, new signing. Let's get it, yo. Guys, Gallagher is still here. I need to take Gallagher off the website. Ah, man. Moises Caicedo. Definitely first team, nothing to say. His record is a sad one, guys. The hype around him started at the same time um, of the hype around Andre Santos when they were both shining at the Under-21 World Cup. Both sharing the golden boot, I believe. And Chelsea signed both. He came from Inter. He's from Inter's academy. And he's likely to be sold. I think he's going to be part of a deal this summer. I don't think he's going to go on loan. So, Cassidy, unfortunately, is going into sell without even making an impression at Chelsea. He made an impression for the manager who's at Chelsea, at Leicester. But he still doesn't make it into Mareska's plan. So, that's that's a bit insane. Omari Kellerman from Villa's academy. Definitely looking like a loan didn't even get minutes uh, in preseason i don't think he even went for the preseason tour unless he's injured uh, but i think he's going on loan he, he'll be surplus to requirements at this point renato vega somehow some way i see vega as a rotation player already he's already like in the in the team you know he's not a first team like first squad player but um he's a defender slash midfielder that's versatility right there we could use that Coming into going into the next season, important. So Vega, I think he will improve as the season goes along. And I think he's Portuguese. He could be Portuguese. And he and Pedro Neto are both Portuguese. We are cooking. <laughs> Give us more Portuguese players. Ease up on the South Americans. <laughs> Romeo Lavia, first team. Just like that. Just like that. Five preseason games. Started every game. Show of intent and confidence from Maresca. Let's get it. Tino Anjorin. Guys, Anjorin hasn't played for us in like three seasons. And he played like a few games under Lampard at some point. He's a striker, but here... Oh, sorry. He was, he's a striker, but he was placed as a, an attacking midfielder on the website. I don't know if he's changed positions since we last saw him. But uh, sell. I think it's time to sell. Raz, first team, definitely senior player. Uh, I think it's time... Uh, he shows himself. I think he's the trusted wing on the left, actually. I don't think his position is at threat with Pedro Neto's arrival at all. I think he's our left winger. Pedro Neto becomes our right winger. And Madweki is the one up for discussion. Yeah. Mikhailo Mudrik. I am tired. I am tired. I'm fed up of Mudrik. I can't believe he wears our number 10. And some fans... Um, have sympathy because he's he joined Chelsea and he's still at Chelsea in a time of war in terms of his nation. He had one good game at the Euros where he showed something, 
give him a loan, guys. He needs to go on loan. We can't sell him. We know this. We can't sell. No one's going to buy Mojik. No one's going to buy him. But he's not good enough. The signing of Neto is also showing that he's not good enough. So give him a loan. Madueki, I think Pedro Neto's arrival makes him a rotation player. I think he's a rotation player, guys. He deserves his, his own video, though. I think Madueki deserves his own video and own segment. We'll get into the strikers. Nicholas Jackson should be a crucial player. We haven't seen him under Maresca, but he was injured. He had an ankle injury. He probably still has an ankle injury. But uh, Jagi Jagi, uh, improvement on his goal tally from last season. That would be great. A bit more clinical. That would be great. Let's work on that, bro. And Jackson should be crucial for us. Christopher Nkunku, we all know. Nothing to be said. Top scorer in preseason. Even when it's tough, he scores. Broyard decision made. We're just waiting for the right buyer, the right bid. He's in the sell category. Cold. <laughs> Cold. Tyreek Mitchell. Tyreek Mitchell. I don't know why I always say Tyreek Mitchell. I always say that. It's wrong of me. Tyreek George played the first game of preseason against Wrexham. Played well. Played as a fullback, left wing back. Honestly, played so well for a player that's a striker. Let's consider that. But he didn't get much after that. He won as a, uh, to play as a striker in our second preseason game against Celtic. But um, I think he's going on loan. I think he's going to go on loan. I was going to say rotation player. And he could be a rotation player. But I think he's going to go on loan. Because he's very young. He's just about to turn 19. One loan won't kill him. Or he might still get a chance to make it into our setup. I think Maresca likes him. Probably just feels he's not ready. David Washington had no glimpse in preseason. We did not see him at all. A new manager, still no chance for the boy from Santos. I think he needs a loan now. He needs minutes. He needs to play. So I think it's time we send David Washington on loan. Mark Gu, looking like a rotation player for us. Very good in preseason, guys. Very, very sharp. Spanish striker from Barcelona. I think, yeah, let's just put him in rotation. Okay, Angelo. He played one game in preseason and played one half. Wasn't that bad, but I think he's going on loan again. I don't know if he'll join his brother Andre Santos at um, Strasbourg on loan again, but I think Angelo's going on loan. Dutro for, David Dutro for Fana is likely to be sold, guys. I can't believe he hasn't gotten a chance to prove himself at Chelsea. Lukaku. Oh, yeah, Lukaku's our player. <laughs> La Caca. Yeah, I know he's going to get sold. Hey, we have no plans for that man. I want to see. Did we, is Andre Santos here? I didn't see Andre Santos, guys. Or did I miss him? Hey, we move, yeah? I don't think, I, I think Andre Santos, oh, maybe because he's going on loan. That would make some sense. But yeah, guys, um, that's the tier list. Now, let's add the new boys. Um, Samu Omoro Dion, definitely a first team player. Definitely. Um, Hodginson, or oh, Hodginson, we already, already spoke about him, yeah. Mike Penders. Mike Penders is the reason we're being trolled more than anything because Mike Penders <laughs> is our ninth goalkeeper on the books. Ninth. Now, Mike Penders, will he go on loan? I doubt it. He just signed and the season's about to start. I'll put him under rotation. I was going to put him under first team. Because Sanchez is under rotation. Actually, I think Mike Penders should go into first team. I think we might dare. And this might be the goalkeeper Maresca wanted. So, Mike Penders. Who knows? Pedro Neto. Definitely a first team player. I am so happy with us getting a direct winger. Direct. That man never looks back, guys. It, it, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I love it. Um, but we'll be playing Inter and the lineup for this game. I wouldn't be surprised if Pedro Neto even starts. But I mean, we haven't even announced as a club. It's just the Fabrizios and David Ornsteins of this world that have kept us informed. Um, but I feel we start a strong lineup. Our strongest lineup consists of Kieran Dewsbury Hall, Romeo Lavia, Moises Caicedo, and Christopher Nkogu forming the box, I believe. Um, Cole Palmer's back. So could Cole Palmer start? That would be an interesting one. Not much in terms of seeing him play. 
And if we do lose this game, Mareska is still of that mindset that we're still taking the lesson. We need a good performance. The defensive line, we should bench Badia Shield. Bench that man. Bench him, bring him on second half if he needs minutes. Please, please, Mareska, please. But yeah, and goalkeeper, I'm expecting Hodginson. I think Sanchez, and that'll be an indication to Sanchez that, hey, it is real, bro. It's getting real. Kugreda probably starts this game. I would start Kugreda and I would play Gusto on the right. Just to give us that proper, proper stability. Kugreda doesn't take time to warm up when he comes into a setup. He's not, uh, he doesn't need to work hard to understand the system. So yeah, um, let me know your thoughts on the tier list. Let me know your thoughts on where we will be this season. <laughs> um, I'm going to have a video done. Uh, I don't know when. Sometime this week, guys. I'll, I'll, I'll make a video predicting the table. The whole Premier League table. So, yeah. Um, that one's the daring one. That is a daring video. So, yeah, yeah. Send strength, guys. But let's get it, y'all. Blessing. Blessing.